Hi and welcome to Rob's Game Time. I'm your host Rob and on today's edition of Rob's Rules we'll be looking at a classic within the modern board gaming category and that is Ticket to Ride New York. Um, when I say it's a classic I'm talking about the whole series of Ticket to Ride. Um, Ticket to Ride New York is the one of the three small footprint games for this series. Uh, there is New York Amsterdam and London and these are a quick introduction into the Ticket to Ride series and they play in about 15-20 minutes tops um, they're a 2 to 4 play game the basic mechanics in this is the same throughout the entire series um, depending on which map packs you get if you go for the big game um, will depend on the extra mechanics the two big games are just Ticket to Ride and Ticket to Ride Europe and they are huge board, still the same basic mechanics. So if you know how to play this, and this appeals to you, and you do want something that's going to last a little bit longer um, and a bigger footprint, crack on. Uh, the base game is either Ticket to Ride or Ticket to Ride Europe. But just for today, we're going for the quick and easy small footprint, Ticket to Ride New York. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is Ticket to Ride New York. And as I said earlier, this is one of the three small footprint versions of this game. Um, the board is about the size of an A3 piece of paper. So, board, you set the marketplace up. Um, <clears throat> everybody gets two cards who's playing. And you also get two trip tickets. Pick whichever colour you want. These lovely little plastic taxis. <clears throat> and what you do is on your turn you choose from one of three actions you can either take a uh, train a taxi transport ticket from here or one from here if you choose one of these ones from the face up pile you can't choose another one but if you get one from here oh sorry if you get one from the face down pile as no one else could see it, you can have another go. Everyone, as I said, everyone starts off with two. And then your two little destination tickets. You can look at them and you can get rid of one and keep one. You can keep them both if you wish. Now the idea of these is at the end of the game, if you can connect the destinations on the ticket, you score the points. But, if you fail to connect those, you lose them points off your end game. <clears throat> so, you play until one player has got two or less taxes left. And then everybody else ha everybody has one more go. And then you tot up the points, and whoever's got the most points wins. Now what you do, as I said, is you've got one of three actions. You can either pick transportation tickets or you can have a go at getting some new destination tickets or you can claim a route now how the routes are claimed is so say for example if you wanted to get out to Soho to Greenwich Village you would need two orange carts and they go in the discard pile and then what you do is <coughs> Should have really opened these beforehand. It's a bit hard to do these one handed. And you should put two of your taxes on the board to say it's yours. And then, as I said, keep going. You can only do claim one route a turn. Um, <clears throat> and then, as I said earlier, you could choose to take one of those into your hand or take one from the face down pile or you could take two from the face down pile or two from there but as I said if you take one of these you only get one <clears throat> so if you take that one you can no longer take one of those and then as soon as one from there is taken you draw a new one from there but if there's ever any three these yellow taxes on here 
all the face ones are discarded and you draw five new ones. And then, as, and then with the easy option is you draw two new ones and you have to take one. The others go to the bottom of the deck outside of everybody. Now when you are claiming roots, you can only claim, only one person can claim one route. So only one person can connect Soho with Wall Street. If you're playing a two player game, only one person can connect Wall Street to Chinatown. But if you're playing with three or four, two players can connect it. So one person have to use a green one for this side and one person have to use a pink one for this side. And that's it. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> as I said, you play until someone has got two or less taxes left. Everybody has one more turn, and then you total the points. Now here, it tells you how many points you get for each route. So, if you've got a little one tax route, you get one point. Two taxes are worth two points. A three taxi route is worth four, and four taxi points four tax route, sorry, is worth seven. And then also you've got these bonus points here. So if you can connect Chelsea to Greenwich Village, you score one point for each of the connections. But if you connect Chelsea to Midtown West, you just score that one. <clears throat> and then you also add up or subtract the points you get from your little tickets. And then as I said, person with the most points at the end of the game wins. That is Ticket to Ride New York. As I said, it's designed to be played in about 15-20 minutes and it's two to four players. The basics for this game is the same as the basics for the big box games, Ticket to Ride and Ticket to Ride Europe. The only difference is, is you're playing on North America with Ticket to Ride and Ticket to Ride Europe is played over Europe. Also, the little Bonus points for connecting those, they're not in that. But again, that's just for small footprint games. Ticket to Ride to New York, quick and easy, nice little game. Go out and have a play.